Joe Biden, U.S. President Net Worth and Lifestyle, Middle Class Joe. We're certain you've encountered this line countless of times. This title refers to a well-known politician with decades of experience who frequently appears in news headlines. Joe Biden is the 46th president of the United States of America and is the oldest to take office. This video will highlight the affluence and the lifestyle of this prominent elderly politician. Have you ever considered Joe Biden's extent of wealth? The president of the United States and his wife, Jill, are thought to have a net worth of 8 to 9 million as of June 2021, according to Forbes. The couple's book royalties and speaking engagements account for the majority of their wealth. This couple is said to have almost 15 million in book royalties. That's a lot of money you can make from book royalties. Among the Biden's assets are two Delaware residences worth a combined $4 million. Like many other affluent people around the world, Biden is also known to be a passionate car enthusiast. He has an incredible collection of classic cars, which includes a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Are you curious to know how President Biden changed from middle class Joe to be millionaire Joe? Continue watching to find out more about this leader's early years, political background, assets, and some other interesting facts. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania on November 20th, 1942 to Joseph Robinette Biden Sr. and Catherine Eugenia Jean Biden. He has one sister and two brothers and is the oldest child in the Biden family. Growing up in a Catholic household, Joe's family experienced financial difficulties. In the 1950s, when Scranton's economy was in ruins, his father had trouble finding work. The family eventually had to relocate to Delaware, where Joe's father got a job selling old cars, causing the family to live a middle-class lifestyle. Biden finished his high school education at Claymont, Delaware's Archmere Academy. He was a standout football player for his high school team, playing halfback and wide receiver while also playing baseball. He was also appointed as the class president both in his junior and senior years. At the University of Delaware, Biden pursued a double major in history and political science while also minoring in English. He received his bachelor's degree in 1965. Following that, Joe attended the Syracuse University College of Law, where he graduated in 1968 with a law degree. After graduating from college, Biden worked as a legal assistant at the Wilmington Law Firm before becoming a public defender and opening his own practice. In 1970, Joe Biden entered politics for the first time when he ran against Republican Lawrence T. Messick for the 4th District seat on the Newcastle County Council. From 1971 through 1973, he held the position. Joe Biden was only 30 years old when he was sworn in as senator for the United States in 1973, making him the sixth youngest senator in American history. In 1981, he joined the Senate Judiciary Committee and became the minority leader. Furthermore, Biden served on the Senate Committee on the Judiciary for a long time, which allowed him to chair it from 1987 to 1995. Besides that, he had served on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for quite a long time as well. As a result, he had the opportunity to meet with at least 150 leaders from 60 different countries. He gained a reputation as a leading Democrat in the international affairs at this time. President Barack Obama nominated Biden as his vice president from 2009 to 2017. On Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2020, Joe Biden assumed office as the president of the United States. Here's a short rundown of Joe's family. In 1966, Biden wed Nellia Hunter, with whom he had two sons and a daughter. Tragically, in 1972, a car accident caused the deaths of his wife and daughter. Joe only has his son Hunter as an heir after losing his son Beau to brain cancer in 2015. In 1977, Biden married his current spouse, Jill Jacob. For years, President Joe Biden has famously put on an emphasis on himself as being a quote-unquote middle-class Joe, yet he is no longer one. Let's take a glance at this leader's pocketbook in more detail. The 46th president has earned over $17 million so far in his political career. As per the records of Forbes, who has assessed that he and his wife, Jill, are worth $8 to $9 million in total. Biden's income increased steadily as he moved up the political ladder. 
the Senate's historical records show that during his term, his salary rose from $42,500 to $174,000 from the time he was first elected to the Senate. He was earning about $169,300 when he quit in 2009 to take vice presidency. It's said that Biden earned $230,700 annually as vice president of the United States. He now receives a $400,000 annual salary as president and is also eligible for a $50,000 annual expense account, a $100,000 non-taxable travel account, and a $19,000 annual entertainment allowance. However, Biden's post-presidential life has been extremely lucrative. The main sources of income for the president and the first lady were book royalties and speaking engagements. In the years 2008 to 2017, Joe Biden published two books. His first memoir, Promises to Keep, came out in 2008. It initially did not sell well, but the New York Times reported that once Biden was named Obama's running partner, book sales increased. The book Promise Me Dad about Bo Biden's cancer death was published in 2017. After its release, it momentarily topped the U.S. bestsellers list and went on to sell over 300,000 copies. Biden's income declarations show that he received anything between $8,000 to $90,000 for each visit on a single book tour. Forbes estimates that the book tour brought in millions. The couple's net worth also increased by $2.4 million from public speaking engagements, with Jill's speaking fees adding another $700,000. According to CNBC, Biden received up to $190,000 in March 2018 for a single talk at Drew University in New Jersey. It is said that in the two years between 2017 and 2018, this in-demand public speaker delivered 40 lectures and was offered five or six-figure salaries each time. Tax reports state that Biden's received more than $15 million overall from book royalties, speaking engagements, and professor practice fees given by the University of Pennsylvania beginning in 2017. According to the Washington Post, the Biden's main residence is the house they built in Wilmington, Delaware, more than 20 years ago. This lakeside property reportedly measures close to 7,000 square feet. Stefan Matola of Long & Foster Real Estate stated to the Wall Street Journal that the residence was purchased in 1997 for $350,000, but is now probably worth at least $2 million. Additionally, the family spent $2.7 million on a property on Delaware Beach in 2017. It was a 4,800 square foot beachfront home. The Washington Post also claims that after resigning as vice president, Biden rented a lavish mansion in McLean, Virginia, and discovered that this large 12,000 square foot house with marble finishes, a gym, a sauna, a space for 20 cars was typically rented for between 20,000 and 30,000. The federal pension that the 79 year old president receives accounts for some of his assets. Based on a Forbes article, Biden's federal pension granted him an annual income of about $160,000 for life. As we mentioned at the start of this video, President Joe Biden is a huge fan of automobiles. At the Ford Rogue Electric Vehicle Center in Dearborn, Michigan, he made this famous statement, quote unquote, my name is Joe Biden and I am a car guy. Joe spent his teen years surrounded by autos because his father worked as a manager of a car business. Although the heavily armed Cadillac limousine serves as Biden's primary means of transportation, he also has a small collection of vintage vehicles, including a 1951 Studebaker Champion, a 1952 Plymouth Cranbrook Convertible in Candy Apple Red, a Mercedes-Benz 190 SL, and his most prized 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, which his father gave him as a wedding gift. Now that the details of how the President of the United States changed from middle-class Joe to a wealthy individual have been discussed, we'd like to address an unasked question. Why isn't Biden even wealthier? When the markets are increasing, you may assume that he would be worth more than $8 million. If you've noticed, Biden's present net worth is a small portion of his career earnings, which total more than $17 million. Where did his money go? Well, reports claim that $7 million of it went to pay taxes, another $1.3 million to charity, $180,000 for household staff, and an estimated $80,000 for mortgage interest. Even if you exclude those items, you're still a few million dollars above Biden's assessed net worth. 
there's a chance that Biden, who shares his income with his wife Jill, offered some to other members of the family. Or perhaps he simply spent it all. What do you reckon? We are curious to know.